Hello there! In this video we're going to see the English vowel sound R. You may want to check videos 1, 2 and 3 for other sounds or for an introduction on phonetics before you watch this video. There are quite a few different accents in English but for this video and for future ones we're going to use RP and RP stands for Receive Pronunciation which is the most commonly taught British accent in language schools. When learning phonetics, we have to learn the IPA symbols. That means the International Phonetic Alphabet. And the symbol that we're going to see today is this one here, R. And we have this sound in words like laugh, car, heart, carpet and park. How to pronounce this sound? Ah, well, our mouth goes from a relaxed position to slightly open, the tongue is held flat and the sound is long. So we get that ah, ah, ah sound. Let's compare these two sounds R and A ah in the words far, fat, heart, hat, park, packet, car, cat. Practice these sounds until you get them perfect. Okay, another thing I want to mention here in this video is the difference between rhotic and non-rhotic English accents. And this is very important because linguists commonly divide English accents into two big groups. Rhotic accents and non-rhotic accents. Rhotic accents typically pronounce R after a vowel sound. So in words like bar, car, park and heart, a rhotic pronunciation would say bar, car, park and heart. We'd hear those R's. Rhotic British accents are Irish English, Scottish English and General American. While non-rhotic accents do not pronounce R after a vowel. Receive pronunciation along with other British accents do not pronounce the R's in words like car, where we'd have car. And we don't get heart, we get hot. So, <clears throat> my students usually ask me things like, Teacher, is it very horrible to pronounce my R's? And I usually say, no, I think it's important for people to understand you. But, if you want to master a very British accent, you should avoid pronouncing those postsyllabic R's. And finally, to end today's class, we're going to do a little practice. Notice that I've put a line under each R sound. My heart fell apart after she laughed. My heart fell apart after she laughed. It's a little bit soppy. Hmm? Our car is parked in the garden. Our car is parked in the garden. 
Practice with these two examples. And that's all for now. Find more stuff, activities and quizzes on my blog, blog.serena.blog. And if you like the activity and you learned something, you found it was interesting, please subscribe and leave me a like. Thank you very much for watching.